We're looking for a woman. I heard she's hiding out in the area. Her name's Madison. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James, and in this video, let's go over the Fear the Walking Dead final episodes trailer. Oh my god, it's the final episodes of Fear the Walking Dead ever. I'm so happy. You could say I'm a little happy that it's ending. But let's dive into this trailer. It's got a lot of cool uh, things in it, actually, as far as some scenes. We got most of the characters. Of course, Morgan has gone. No more Morgan. He's already he headed out on his uh, adventure with Mo, looking for Rick. That's where he's left off. He shouldn't be, I don't think, in any of these episodes, uh, final episodes. We got Madison. She'll be the main character carrying uh, this set of episodes. Hand her over. You walk away. So as the trailer opens up, we've got Troy's guys. I think that's Troy's men looking for Madison, talking to Strand, saying, hey, we're looking for this chick. You know, she's she's hanging around the area. Thought you might know her. her name's Madison. Turn her over and hey, you know, all's good. Victor, what are you doing here? The wolves are circling. I came here to help you. All right. For this shot right here, just real quick, I want to say something. There's a lot of dead walkers laying around three or four she might have three or four more to go killing with that sledgehammer and you know there's several behind her coming at her through the woods and stuff you know this is a zombie fantasy apocalypse but i just want to say someone like madison even a, a hefty dude would have to be in pretty good shape to sling that sledgehammer around that many times that high up head level and bash skulls in so yeah that's a weapon that you might want to think twice about if you're going into the zombie apocalypse is a big heavy sledgehammer a hammer claw hammer like um carpenter's hammer like tyrese had yeah you know you could probably do some damage with that you're just having to get close up you know but a big sledgehammer man that's heavy dude think twice about that because after a few swings you're going to get tired and when you get tired that's when yeah you die victor was absent the entire first half now he's back, Victor, Madison, together again. Of course, Troy's going to be thrown into the mix, but several of the characters that were missing from the first half uh, have returned. We'll see them again. And Victor's saying that he's come to help Madison because the wolves are circling. And I think, you know, that's the thing about sending out a signal over the radio saying, hey, you know, um, we're here to help. Uh, we're going to provide sanctuary or whatever, because you'll get some people that needs it and are good people coming, but you'll get a lot of bad people, too. There's a fight. And the MRAP's back. You know, you could almost say that uh, Troy coming from that direction, it would almost have to be him. But, you know, this large group of walkers coming could be Troy's army and they're getting mowed down by the machine gun fire. That wouldn't be Troy doing it. So is it uh, Dwight and Sherry? We know that they go off. We'll see here in a little bit in the trailer that they actually go back to their house. They go back to the sanctuary and see it all destroyed and run down and stuff. Do they also go back and get the MRAP? You know, there's a lot of questions on how it gets here, but... I don't know. You guys have to tell me. Did the trailer show who actually has it? We do see Daniel around it, I think, at some point. Um, so is it a good guy? Is it a bad guy? Did they take it from Troy once he brought it? Did Luciana go get it? Maybe you guys can uh, fill me in down in the comments. At least some theories if you don't know for sure. And Sherry saying to Dwight, there's a fight coming. There's a fight coming. We don't have enough firepower. I got people to protect. I'm going to help you. So then we got Daniel saying, we don't have enough ammo. We don't have enough weapons. We got Luciana saying, I've got people to protect. So we didn't see her in the first half, I don't think. Um, where has she been? Who's the people she's talking about? Has she got another group? Daniel has his army. Luciana may have a group of her own. You know, all these characters, just all these kind of different things going on. But here we see some of the group at Padre. I want to say this is after Troy took over. I, I think the guy in the... Uh, between Dove and Sherry there, you see between them behind Dwight is one of Troy's guys. Uh, you don't see them with weapons, but you see the other people escorting them with weapons. So I'm going to see this is after Troy took over. We got Dwight, Sherry, Dove, and June uh, captured, I guess, taken hostage. Dave Padre. We 
We got Strand telling Madison, I want to help you save Padre. And then there's just some cool shots. I like that over the trucks shot. I guess that's a drone, but really cool shot. And here's a cool shot. Not sure. I guess Troy, Troy's people. But Madison's maybe also, you can see Madison and Troy up there ahead, their backs turned. Madison, been a while. Troy. And we do see in the trailer later on in some way, somehow, Madison and Troy are working together. I think in a part of the trailer, I hear Madison tell Troy, you should join us. You know, don't fight us, join us. So does he join them? He always had a thing for Madison, but... You know, obviously he's not coming back to directly just kill her, or he would have because he had her captured. So somehow, some way, they start working together. Um, does it have something to do with Alicia? You know, Troy has her arm. We'll see this shot in a minute and talk more about it. They're dead. They are his army. We're outnumbered. We're outgunned. This doesn't end well. We got Daniel saying the dead. He uses them as his army. That's his army. You know, this mirrors Troy using a walker horde to attack the ranch back in season three. So Troy has used the army of the dead to his advantage. It looks like he's still doing it. So I'm sure that's Troy or Troy's people leading that big group of walkers toward Padre. Maybe they've got that big barge that they're going to let walkers look like onto the island. So, yeah. And earlier in the trailer, we did see uh, Dwight, Sherry, June and Dove captured looks like this is uh where it happens or at least troy saying look you know you're outnumbered you're outgunned we got luciana we got strand we got madison so as far as the timeline of events how they cut the trailer up and how things are going to go i'm not really sure yet but it does seem troy just kind of rolls up and takes over because he has a lot of firepower it's maybe when they're fighting back that uh troy uses the walker the walker army but not sure really the timeline of events, according to this trailer. But a lot of cool stuff's happening. I have to admit. Why are you doing this? You took everything from me. I'm just doing the same for you. Yeah, here's the little part that she said, why don't you join us? And Troy's like, oh, here's your daughter's arm. You know, you took everything from me. I'm going to take everything from you. So Madison, here's where we see the arm of Alicia you took everything from me, so I'm taking everything from you. Did he do something to Alicia? Um, there's some hints. There's some theories. Uh, she's dead. She's alive. Don't know what really happened, but I guess we're going to find out. That place, that's all I have left, Victor. You still have something left worth fighting for. So here's where it starts getting exciting for me anyway. I really like Dwight and Sherry as characters. I've met them at the Comic-Cons really great people you know there was this one where there was just nobody in line and they had booths next to each other and it was just a really great conversation and that's happened several times you know if there's not a line you're able to maybe sneak in there and go oh hey what's up and be able to talk a little longer because there's not a bunch of people behind you but i've liked dwight and sherry since the walking dead and in this one we get to see a bunch of stuff as far as they're going back to the sanctuary how cool is that we see them here in the sanctuary ruins themselves and it looks like here is this outside sanctuary it looks like you see the metal heads remember that they poured molten uh, metal on the top of the head so they were harder to kill uh, i think eugene may have even come up with that but the fence falls down on sherry it's got some of those uh walkers are still around so it's cool that they go back. My question is, like I mentioned earlier, the timeline of events. Do they go back and then return back to Padre? Or do they go back and, you know, this is at the end of the season. June's with them also. As you can see here, they're at the house, their old house. Uh, Sherry had left Dwight a note uh, back in the day there. And that's their old house. So they not only go to Sanctuary, they go back to their old house as well. Is this at the end of the season? Do they stay or will they be heading back to Padre? Because we do see them there. We do see them fighting there. So I brought some of these photos from other parts of the trailer to kind of combine them here to tell the Dwight and Sherry part. But we also see a Padre boat. We see Madison telling Strand, look, Padre is all I got. And he's like, ah, you know, it's still good to fight for the ones you love. But I'm sure Madison's thinking of Nick and Alicia. The people we love the people we'd give up our lives to protect. It can let you live forever. 
We got Strand doing a voiceover still while saying some stuff about the ones you love and everything. We see Luciana. We see Daniel. We see a tanker truck they're getting out of. A uh, cool shot of June in the rain. And then we got Madison with this can of what? Could it be Alicia's ashes that Troy brought back to her? I don't know. There's some theories out there. What's your theory of what's in the can? And then I'll be honest, the first time I saw this, like the first time I saw this trailer and this just kind of popped up, maybe I got distracted for a second, but then was looking at it through the corner of my eye or something. But I thought, is that a plane? Is that a plane wreck of plane crash? Not another plane. Are they using another plane? No, don't be using another plane. Of course, this is just the tanker truck. This is just a tanker truck that exploded. Thank goodness it's not a plane. You know, you could just imagine the plane crashes and you think maybe that's Al. Al's going to jump up out of there. Nope, it's Rick Grimes. And he says, hey, y'all, my name's Rick Grimes. I just escaped from the CRM. Who are you guys? You want to help me fight them? Wouldn't that be funny? But it's just a tanker truck. Where's my daughter? Where is she? We see Madison. We see Madison right here. That's when she thinks she sees Alicia through the door. I did a video on it. Is it really Alicia? And we got a burning walker and we got Troy like, hey, they're burning my stuff or they're blowing up my stuff. Um, could be, you know, it looks like he's looking out the window. You see burning stuff in the reflection. And then we got Madison saying to this kid, where's my daughter? Tell me where my daughter is. And, you know, is this this is kind of weird. We see in a different promo, I think Daniel's with her and stuff in this scene. And is it winter? We'll see more of it here in a second. But uh, is it a dream? Is it a hallucination? They're not really dressed for winter, uh, all of them, Daniel and the kid. So what is this? What do you guys think? We'll see more of it here in a sec. I'm not the man I used to be. No one gets a free pass. We got Strand saying he's not the man he used to be. We got a shot of June. We got Daniel saying nobody gets a free pass. So Daniel even being around strand is is weird you know it's like you've done so much to me and then we get a wider shot of the winter scene and then this shot of madison here and here's a better shot of the kid you know who is it is it is the kid related to troy you know did he come with troy is it part of padre is it part of of madison's hallucination or dream you know alicia had her younger version self or or wh whatever it was following her around telling her stuff in her uh, fever dreams, I guess you could say, back in season seven. Is this something in Madison's hallucination? Is all of this real? Like I say, I'd like to hear your thoughts down in the comments, of course. I want to know where Padre is. That little clip had some of those Dwight Sherry stuff in it. We got Troy, but we do have Dwight here. It does look like he's in at Padre at this point, you know, fighting that fight. We got Daniel throwing a weapon to Luciana. They're fighting inside what looks like a garage. I can't end like this. I can't end like this. In this clip, we see Madison and Troy on this bridge that starts to crumble, falls. Something happens where they fall into the water where there's walkers down there as well. So... You know, they're on some kind of little adventure together, working together, and Troy's not killing her. Maybe he did take over Padre, but what's next? What other adventure could they be on? What are they doing? Uh, maybe they're fighting each other, but why are they together, uh, working together, possibly? Just a lot of details I'm not sure of. We see a girl with Strand. Don't know who that is. The M wraps in the back. And we got this really cool ass shot of this log, big, huge a tree log uh, on a chain on some type of pendulum or or swinging action that goes out and hits this truck and sends it flying so that's definitely a cool shot something cool to see that you don't see every day and you got somebody saying it can't end like this it can't end like this We see Dwight. You see walkers in the background. You see a few soldiers running around. This is probably Padre. This is probably when Troy's army of walkers been let loose on the island. You see Strand screaming. You see Madison. You know, uh, she's down in something, a tunnel. She's hitting something. There's fire coming out. Uh, is she on this side or that side of the door? It looks like there's a big explosion. Is this how she escaped from the stadium? Is this something uh, on Padre, around Padre? What's the deal here? Is Madison going to die? Oh, so many questions. 
What a trailer, crazy trailer, so much stuff in there, just wrapped up in there, and I know I even missed some stuff trying to even cover the most of it, but you guys know I've not been the biggest fan of Fear, you know, I love The Walking Dead, that's why I have the channel and all that kind of stuff, it's just Fear's writers, showrunners, they kind of uh, led me astray, I think, but this does look action-packed, uh, the story's back, Morgan's not in it, uh, so it's going to focus on some different stories, Troy's back, so that's kind of crazy daisy, we'll see where that leads, uh, uh, he's got Alicia's arm, so what's up with that? We see Madison and Troy together, so are they fighting each other? Are they not fighting each other? Maybe there was a big fight at the beginning, but she convinced him to join her um, like she was asking him. So there's just a lot of questions around all this. A great trailer. Uh, it actually looked pretty good. I'm actually uh, looking forward to see how the story ends. And the Dwight Sherry story, you know, the timeline of all these events. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, you guys let me know what you think about it, of course down in the comments below and you know i'll join you there this is james in nashville as always thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff